SN Brussels Virgin Express merger. Operations of the airlines are now being streamlined and overlaps cut. DBA to open Munich route. Airport staff voted today in favor of starting a new union to strengthen workers' rights at the airport. The construction of the new terminal extension has been completed. The new part of Cardiff Airport was opened in a celebratory ceremony. Eurowings announces closure of Düsseldorf route by end of month following intense competition by Air Berlin. The airline announced that it would look into a possible new route from Dortmund to begin from the summer timetable next year. Labour dispute intensifies as the union today announced negotiations to have failed and prepared its members soon to take part in a vote on the union's next steps in the matter, including the possibility of strikes. Air Dolomiti announces return. Ryanair closes base and all routes at Cardiff effective immediately. Ryanair, currently the largest customer customer of Cardiff Airport announced this morning that it would cease all operations at Cardiff Airport effective immediately and close its base. Rumors suggest that the airport management of Cardiff Airport is close to striking a deal with another major US carrier. Sources close to the matter suggest that the airline in question could be American Airlines. Furthermore, it has been rumored that EasyJet might be considering an engagement at Cardiff Airport for the coming year unresolved dispute with workforce. Negotiations have resumed but have failed to bring any substantial move in the conflict. Further strikes seem likely, the source stated. Lufthansa to increase frequencies. The German airline prepares for next year's FIFA World Cup in Germany. 100 50 40 30 20, 10, 5. Welcome back to Cardiff. It's a new year and hopefully many new adventures are waiting ahead for the airport. While the main terminal extension was finished last year, small improvements across the airfield are of course still being made. Operations are slowly picking up this morning and largely without any issues. Only at the terminal extension there seems to be a little disturbance as a fire alarm was activated. The airport's fire department has already responded and is at the scene of what looks like to be a false alarm. But let's get going on our tour around the airport on this early winter morning. As we are in the early morning hours, many planes are still inactive, but some are being prepared for their first flights of the day. Still asleep is this Embraer EAJ145 of BMI that arrived late yesterday evening from Manchester. With still one and a half hours left until its first scheduled flight back to Manchester, things are still very calm around here. And it is a similar story around this Embraer EAJ-170 of Cyrus Airlines. The aircraft that is being deployed on the airline's Mannheim City, London City, Cardiff route will remain here at the airport until 5 minutes past 7 in the morning. Although this Boeing 737-300 of Virgin Express won't be leaving before 20 minutes to 8 in the morning, ground crews are slowly starting up the preparations of the aircraft and so catering is already being delivered and it looks like some very first cargo is being pulled up to the plane as well. The same can be said about this Airbus A320 of Aer Lingus, although the departure time here is set for 7 o'clock in the morning and it looks like the aircraft is being refueled at the moment. With only 15 minutes left on the clock, ground crews need to hurry up if they want to get this Airbus A319 of British Airways out of the ramp on time. But with some last minute cargo pulling up to the plane just now, this could end up getting somewhat tight. At least the cabin crew seems to be almost ready as the last passengers are boarding the plane that will be leaving for London Heathrow. 
yesterday evening, the airport could celebrate the return of EasyJet with the arrival of the 737-700 that arrived from Belfast. Currently, the plane is being refueled and ground equipment is slowly being brought in place to prepare the aircraft for its morning flight to Malaga. Next up, we find this Boeing 737-500 of Lufthansa that, as usual, is serving the route to Frankfurt. With 30 minutes left until its departure time, ground crews are already working hard to achieve a on-time pushback. With 40 minutes more on the clock until the scheduled departure, it's perhaps not surprising that things around the 737-500 of Air France are still very calm. Only a belt loader has so far been brought to the ramp in preparation for the work soon to begin. The 737-700 of KLM is currently taking on catering for its first flight of the day, which will bring the aircraft back to the airline's hub at Amsterdam Airport. Activities around the plane should, however, start picking up very soon, given that only 35 minutes are left until pushback. Then we find this 757-200 of Monarch that arrived yesterday evening. The plane is now awaiting a new assignment and has for the moment been parked here. It is, however, expected that the aircraft will be pulled to a remote stand a little later this morning to free up the space here at the terminal. Next to the Monarch, we find this A320 of Air Arabia that is getting prepared for its return flight to Casablanca. With still one hour to go, the small inconvenience in proceedings caused by the fire alarm shouldn't have an impact on today's flight. On the other side of the terminal, we find this Fokker 100 of Air Berlin. With more than one hour until departure, things remain calm around the aircraft, but some first ramp workers have pulled up in their van, perhaps to enjoy a coffee while gazing at the aircraft. Already in full swing are, however, the rampers working on the 737-800 of Transavia. Some first luggage is already being loaded, while the crew is starting to prepare the cabin for the return flight to Eindhoven. A similar story can be told about this Bombardier-8Q400 of Fly B, that after having arrived late yesterday evening from Liverpool, now is being prepared for its return flight. The cabin is almost ready, so boarding should begin within the next 10 minutes. And sitting in the ramp and resting is the 737-300 of West Atlantic UK that arrived during the night from Stavanger. The aircraft will remain here in Cardiff during the day until its next scheduled flight to Aberdeen at 8 o'clock in the evening. Now, before we head out to the remote stands, it's time for a quick news update. EasyJet comeback. Following the complete withdrawal of Ryanair, one of the airport's biggest customers, the airport management has managed to find a somewhat surprising replacement with EasyJet. The airline has technically not flown from Cardiff before, but isn't new to Cardiff either, as EasyJet already had a presence at Cardiff after the airline had purchased Go, which had a substantial base at Cardiff until 2005. Now EasyJet is making somewhat of a return as the airline opens up a base at Cardiff Airport. Lufthansa Expansion Already last year, Lufthansa announced increased capacities on its Munich and Frankfurt routes starting with the summer timetable, in anticipation of the World Cup in Germany. The airline has now announced that for the months of June and July, the airline will be adding additional services to Berlin, Tegel and Stuttgart Airport, thereby increasing connections for football fans who would like to experience the tournament. Swiss and Helvetic Cooperation Following last year's announcement by Swiss International Airlines to close its Basel route and instead operate to Cardiff from Geneva and Zurich, the airline has now announced to operate the Zurich route in cooperation with Helvetic Airways, who already have been flying on the route. Technically, however, the route has been taken over by Swiss as it will be operated under the Swiss code LX. Labor dispute continues. Since last year, the workforce of Cardiff Airport and the airport management have been in an open dispute, which culminated in a strike in November of last year. Since then, the two parties have returned to the negotiation table, but to date without any significant results. A person close to the union has now been quoted that negotiations could be about to break down once more, opening up for the possibilities of new strikes.
the remote stands, we find this Fokker 100 of Helvetic that now, however, is flying the route to Zurich in cooperation and on behalf of Swiss. Preparations for today's flight are slowly picking up and it looks like the crew is about to arrive at the aircraft. Next we find the Donier DO328 of Welcome Air that later this morning will be bringing Welsh ski enthusiasts to the Austrian Alps on the airline's route to Innsbruck. And then we find this Avro 100 of Swiss that now is connecting Cardiff with Geneva instead of Basel. Also here, a bus with the crew has pulled up to the plane, around which preparations for today's first flight have already started. Another bus can be found at the next aircraft on our tour, but in this case the bus is bringing the first load of passengers to the CRJ700 of Lufthansa that in 35 minutes is scheduled to fly back to Munich. Also, with the next destination being Munich, we find the 737-300 of DBA. As the aircraft is currently being fueled, boarding hasn't yet started, but it is expected to take place shortly and thereby making sure of an on-time departure. Next we find this Embraer EAJ-170 of Alitalia. Things are still very calm around here. Not surprising, however, given that the aircraft isn't scheduled to leave for Milan Linate Airport for another two hours. Now let's head even further out into the field and over to our GAT and maintenance areas. Here at the cargo ramp, we see this Boeing 747-200F of Saudi Cargo pushing unusually early. As the crew was ready and had a last-minute cancellation of some cargo and was able to get an earlier slot at the destination airport, the crew was able to get going well ahead of time. At the GAT, we find this privately owned A319 that has arrived very early this morning. It is not known what the purpose of the visit is, but representatives of the airport have been spotted at the GAT, which could indicate the visit to be of some importance for the airport. In front of the BA maintenance hangars, we find this ERJ-145 that will be pushed to a ramp in anticipation of the aircraft's return to service after a routine check of the aircraft. In fact, the maintenance area is rather busy today, with several aircraft in at the same time. So busy that BA maintenance crews even had to use the airport's own facilities in order to keep up with the workload. Most noticeable, also the somewhat rare visit of a BA757 that currently is undergoing maintenance at the airport. Now that is all for this morning. If you liked the video then hit that like button and if you are new around here, why not hit subscribe. With that, see you in the next episode of Cardiff.